Hi, I'm Kim Wilson. And I'm Natasha Marchevka. And this is Speechless. 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 Welcome to our behind the scenes take on real life and VO, where we share our stories, our resources, and our unsolicited opinions. Um, we talk about this show. What we have on, on the show today is what we talk about a lot as a resource for our, our audience. It's called VO Weekly Workout. And um, I'm excited to get to know Rebecca. I've never met her before, but mm -hmm. she's a doll. She's such a doll. And I, I have shared indeed VO Weekly Workout Regularly, a lot of people are still a bit confused about it. So uh, we had Rebecca unwrap it for you. And you're going to want to hear all about it and listen to all the details and then sign to figure up. out how you can participate. <laughs> exactly. So here we go. Watch the show. Okay. We're so excited. We're here with Rebecca Davis. And we're excited for many reasons. One is because VO Weekly Workout is one of my all-time favorite resources, and that's what we like to bring to you. But also, she's one of my all-time favorite people, and you'll see, if you don't know her already, a lot of people know her. She's pretty popular, but <laughs> she's the most lovely human. We love you, and thank you for being here, Rebecca. Oh, thank you we so are much. Thrilled. What did you bring to drink for oh, our session today? I have. My husband got me a tea of the month club. For the oh, holiday. my gosh. It's going nice. to be like a whole bunch, so I have a... A dragon fruit mango white tea. Oh, and is it oh, delicious? It's delicious. Okay, good. Sometimes <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Natasha needs a tea of the month. Oh, I, I love do. it. I have enough teas right now, though. So I have pumpkin spice chai tea with homemade cashew milk today. Oh, Yum. I, wouldn't even know how to I, do I have a mocktail. And Ooh, you yeah. guys, I don't, it's green. I mean, I attempted a really good thing, but I didn't really come out so much. What's in it? Cucumber and lime, Ooh. pinch of salt, a little uh, simple syrup. It could be a cocktail what? with the right amount of <laughs> vodka, but it's kind of like sugar and too salt. Early for me, but... <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. Kim. <laughs> <That's> delightful. <laughs> it's okay. Um, it's okay. It feels, it feels healthy. Okay. <laughs> Rebecca's Rebecca is going to share a little bit about herself first, but what we are going to get to is VO work weekly workouts. How many times have you said it like that, Rebecca? VO weekly um, workout many times. Weekly workout. Um, we're, I'm one. so excited. I think for every level of talent, it's an awesome resource. But we'll share with you that share that with you after the sponsors. Rebecca, Rebecca yes. lives in LA by way of New Jersey and Austin. Um, I want to know a little bit about your daily life right now, Rebecca, as a, as a talent. Yeah. Tell us, please share. My daily life. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's yeah. revealed. Like what does your day, day look like? Yeah. Oh. What does your day look like? Do you get up like? and you do marketing? I'll tell you. you. Yeah. I, uh, I get up every day at 730. Okay. And uh, my husband and I, he goes on his walk and then we do another walk with the dogs. So Aww. a nice hour long walk every day, which is delightful. Okay. Uh, then we have our little breakfast and then I look at emails. And then okay. I'm, so uh, now it's about 10. Like yeah, what now, time is <laughs> It's about nine. Nine is it's about, about nine. I, okay. Yeah. Pacific. Nice get going. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I'll shower. Maybe not. Maybe <laughs> totally <laughs> optional. Knows. It's optional yeah. in this job. Yeah. It, it, isn't that delightful? I really yeah. get excited about that. <laughs> I have in to fact, go somewhere after this. No. I was like, oh no, I forgot to shower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So around um, nine, yeah. you're looking, checking email, and then you jump into it all, I assume, within that hour, uh, 9.30 or 10, you're doing jobs and auditions by that time, correct? Prioritizing yeah. everything? Yeah, I do a little Facebook before I go in there. Okay. Um, I love that. I try not to get too sucked right. in because mm -hmm. you could really spend right. hours on Just there. Just to catch up. Oh, by the way, yes, Rebecca Davis and Facebook, it's like you what? are... Uh, how should I say? She has the most incredible Facebook like activity and posts and engaging and that's, completely that's jam, authentic. Huh? Like oh, it's totally authentic, totally God. her jam. She's like, you know, people ask questions and you know that it's 
maybe a robot that put the questions there, they automate it. Rebecca's questions are the best and everyone responds. <laughs> like <it's, laughs> he has 500 responses. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I digress. Yeah, I really no wonder you go on Facebook so every day. <laughs> but it's part of who you are and part of almost like your brand. Um, a generous spirit. Yeah. A generous, generous spirit, spirit for sure. And okay, I'm going to announce it. Rebecca yes, has been nominated for the Unicorn Award at VO Atlanta this year, 2023. Her generous and spirit. I I mean, what's taken so long, really? It's, to <laughs> me, it's been Rebecca all the way for a really long time. So best of luck to you, Rebecca. Thank you um, very much. Either so way, like you're so well-deserved. So mm. humbling. You Thank are you. amazing. Okay, so now I'm blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about your day, please. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So after Facebooking and stuff like that, I whatever, or first, if I have any auditions that I haven't done that are due right away, I'll finish that off. And then it's, I just go into mode. It's auditioning. And if I have sessions or I need to leave the house, which I'm so happy we get to go back to studios now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Such a big difference. Such a big difference. Mm -hmm. Um you know, and just kind of riding the wave. It, it, every day is different depending on what's going on in my personal life or in work life or, mm -hmm. or whatnot. Tell us okay. what you like about going into the studio. Oh, I love it. I, yeah, the, tell um, us what you like about it. Because a lot love, of people don't do that. So yeah. people need I to even love it. the smell. Don't you <laughs> love the smell? I love the smell of backstage <laughs> and studio. Oh, I miss the stage. I miss mm -hmm. theater. But yeah, mm -hmm. I think um, it's, well, A, just human contact yeah you know, especially after the past years but I can just be an actor mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about engineering I don't have to worry about my dogs you know I don't have to worry yeah. about the the gardeners I, everything I just mm -hmm. get to be an actor and someone else is taking care of the rest mm -hmm. and I think engineers are magicians mm -hmm. right like they astound me they make you sound they the do. best they mm -hmm. do and they do it so quickly on the fly like I still take forever, you know, and yeah, it's, it's, it's really nice to just not have to think about anything else and just, I be like being nice. directed, you know, oh, yes. <gasps> I <it's> really <laughs> prefer that <laughs> anytime. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kim and I are doing a lot of corporate and commercial. What is your day encompass in terms of genres? Um, I'm much more video game and huh. animation lately. No, uh, that's, wow, I come from a, a stage background and all that stuff. And so when I made the transition into voiceover, I, I kind of came in it knowing, like, I want to do that stuff. And commercials and narration, all of that is still acting. Like, mm -hmm. it all oh, of yeah. it, you're mm -hmm. acting. But to be able to just get into a role and put my teeth into something and, you know, seeing things that they might be a few lines or it might be a few years worth of work. And I just, I'd love, I mean, commercials, I'll take it. I'll take the right, narration. Right, yeah. I've been doing more phone systems, yeah. more IVR stuff lately. But really? My, yeah. Oh, uh, interesting. My, my path is, give me that, give me those games. Give me that animation. Cool. That. Yeah. Okay. We're going to throw to our sponsors and then we're going to come back and pepper you with questions again. Here okay. we go. Hi there, I'm Danny States. I'm the founder of Voice Overview, and I just want to invite you to give us a try. We offer a 30-day free trial. We are the business tracking and management system designed by voice actors for voice actors. It's a great platform for you to manage and control your voiceover business. Voice talent, need quiet. For us, quiet comes in the form of a Studio Bricks booth. Now, we've recorded in closets and nothing against closets, but with families and the need to raise our game, we both independently bought a Studio Bricks. I love my booth because when clients see it on Zoom, they know I'm the real deal. <laughs> but also, I feel more professional in it. And I like Studio Bricks because it's whisper quiet in my noisy neighborhood and also is gorgeous. Right? <laughs> I have a Studio Bricks 1. And I have the voiceover edition. I want that. <laughs> Head over to StudioBricks.com. World-class sound isolation booths, high-quality materials, less environmental burden. Okay, so we must get to VO Weekly Workout. Can you explain how it operates, how talent use it logistically? Because when I share it and you say it's a workout, it's a little bit different mm -hmm. and it's yeah, brilliant. First, right. And first explain what it is to our audience. Okay. For those Absolutely. who don't know what it is. 
because you think of workout a lot is like people working in real Live. time, stuff mm -hmm. like that, six people or whatnot. And the voiceover weekly workout is basically uh, we have every couple of weeks, we have a new director, a voice director, a coach, someone in the industry, and people have a week to sign up. And it's the first 50, we cap it at 50, it used to be more than that. Um, and it's, it's just 20 bucks a pop. And what happens is they have a week to sign up, then they get all of the sides or whatever the specific director has chosen specifically. It's not generic. It's not the same every time. Different and genres, different yeah, scripts, all different, different genres. genres. Yeah. We've all different genres. And uh, then they have a week to work on it and submit it. And then the guests have a week to listen to everything and do their feedback. And what I think the, the best part about it is after, once the, uh, the guest posts all the feedback, you can read everything they wrote and you can listen to everybody's submissions. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's gold. It's gold, gold worth a fortune in education. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just yeah. a 20 bucks. And, and also, it's you amazing. know, then you've, you haven't met a director in person, but you know, they've heard your you. name is there. Your they've name. Heard you. mm -hmm. They've they heard you. They've heard you. They've seen your name. It's a touch yeah. point. Right. Exactly. But listening to everything is, is I so think, the way I, I'm just going to share a little bit. So they grade you basically. So you see your grade and listen to your bit again and realize, oh, well. and then you listen to other people's, but you see their grades and their comments. And I, I can't share enough how educational that is to get a sense of where you stand, how other people are sounding. Um, it's nice to be in the middle. It's nice to, well, it's nice to be at the top, but I, it's, you know, sometimes it's great, great, great. And sometimes it's not, not, not great. Uh, yeah. The, the grading is, oh, I think what we have on there, great, satisfying, good needs work. Mm -hmm. I think excellent might be on there, but just, yeah. It's, mm -hmm. And categories. even if the, the needs work, you can see people, folks that have, that need work. You can see, oh, maybe and this listen. is where they went long, wrong. And you mm -hmm. can listen to how that came across. Mm -hmm. Um, which again is the ben I think that the benefit of this workout is yeah. incredible and, just being able to listen. There are a lot of, you know, one thing that that COVID brought us is the ability to do the larger things, the classes um, mm -hmm. online now. Being in LA, we always were able to do that. But those classes are usually like 10 to 12 people. And you, mm -hmm. you get like a lot of information and you you get to have more time with the the guest directors. And that's why I think uh, Tim Friedlander and Jay Preston, who started the voiceover weekly workout with the late, great Brad Venable, um, they uh, they added on to that. Actually, it was when Brad passed away, Jay and Tim expanded to include a live feedback session. Mm -hmm. So if the director, we call it the VOWW plus, um, it's up to the director if they want to do it. And if they do, then the first 10 people to sign up for that specifically, um, it costs a little bit more. And then the following week, it's like this weird calendar, the following week on a Monday, those people can get live feedback from the director and get redirects. But everybody who participated in that week, whether they just, you know, just submitted, can all zoom in and watch mm. that. Oh, fabulous. which is also, I mean, you know. It's, it's great. It, it's just great. And we don't, you know, uh, I say we, but when Tim and uh, Brad and Jay created it, it's still the same way where it's not for profit. We don't make mm -hmm. any money. Mm -hmm. It all goes to the guest or to uh, keeping, well, and the website and person who, Jen Wong, who helps manage the website. She does manage the website. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Some of it goes to her, some of it goes to maintain the site and then everything else to the, the guests. So I think what the three of them did was what they started. It was incredible. Wow. So, I'm going to um, promote the URL. So it's voweeklyworkout.com and you go there and sign up for the newsletter. And when you go on that homepage and the newsletter is there, then you will receive who the director is upcoming and what the deadlines are and whatnot. So it is actually super straightforward and it behooves anyone to not participate. We also have a, on Facebook as well. Um, and you can listen to la past uh, mm -hmm. things as well. And we're already booked through August, I think maybe. No, that's awesome. wow. With coaches. Yeah. Wow. And casting voice directors and 
Yeah, it's it's great what they they put together. So you're a super pro, Rebecca. Why would it? Why is this for every level? Will you it reiterate for our audience why it's good for newbies and pros like alike? Everyone can benefit from this. What do you, give us your opinion? Yeah, I think you know as a as a pro, I, I think anytime, no matter where you are in your career, feedback and education mm. is always helpful. No matter mm. where you are, I've I, I've talked to actors that are so above my level and they still coach and they still take classes sometimes and they still you know get to develop relationships so I think when you're like in a level of the pro level of of any time when you consider yourself a pro it's still very helpful to get that feedback because so much we just throw I always think of it as spaghetti or like those octopus things (laughs) (laughs) and fall down I feel like those glass windows (laughs) yes yes (laughs) And I think we just throw stuff against the wall and we don't know what's landing or what's not. Yeah. Um, or what other people are throwing against the wall. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know? Like, am You're I like, throwing it on this wall and everyone's going here? Like, <laughs> but sometimes that wall is good. I know. Instead of being with know. this wall. But you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. And hearing other people's uh, approaches to characters. But being a newbie great like yep. that's yeah. how you learn that's how we all learn is by making mistakes and by yeah. having wins and knowing what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong and also the thing is is everybody's opinion is different yes the other thing one director might be like even if they got the same thing one director would be like, that's brilliant and another director might be like eh, i don't know yeah yeah it's true that was which one is one thing i've noticed yeah, yeah. And it you made me need to take it with a grain of salt, right? Yeah. Oh, everyone's opinions. Yeah. 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 Artists. And it helps was... me tamp down my anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing that I was like, oh, okay, phew. Yeah. yeah. And I think if it was just, just you submitting and only you getting the feedback, I just don't think it's as powerful as being able to listen to everything. Totally. That's, oh, it's so beneficial to hear where, the other yeah. people. Yeah. Okay. We're going to throw to our sponsors for the last time here, and we're going to come back with Rebecca in one moment. Positron is the technology busy voice talent need. It literally cut our editing time in half. Positron overlays your script to your voiceover to ensure script accuracy. In moments, you'll discover pickups or a perfect read. Upload your script, upload your audio, and Positron does the rest. For audiobook proofing, this is a must. For e-learning and long-form narration, even one page of script, This process couldn't be easier. Positron ensures your narration is word perfect, so you can focus on your performance and delivery. Check out Positron.com or email hello at Positron.com for a free product demo. VoiceActor.com is the fastest way to have your website up and running right now. Simple and fast. It's the do-it-yourself website builder for voice talent. No coding! And you can edit your own content! The plug and play website templates have everything a voice actor needs to insert demos, videos, testimonials, bios, and much more. It's a no brainer. Websites work on any device. And you can use your own domain name. Go to voiceactor.com for more information. Voiceactor.com, powered by voice actor websites. Okay, we're back from our wee break. And what we want to know, Rebecca, is about success stories um, of people you know, what, what can people expect to, yeah. mm-hmm. I mean, it's different for every casting director is mm-hmm. completely different or, mm-hmm. or the voice director or the director, um, anything like that. Some people I know have gotten new agents from it when an agent will come That's in amazing. and wow. the feedback is great. And if you're, if the agent doesn't like, we always ask in the live feedback, is there a way for people to contact you? Mm-hmm. Some people are like, some people say, call me on, you know, find me on social media or mm. you can email me. But also if you're stealth, you can find anybody's contact this is information true. online. <laughs> you can find anything. And I'm always a big fan of just drop a little thank you. Don't ask for anything. Just, hey, mm. thanks for your time. And then a conversation begins. And don't get discouraged if you don't hear back from somebody. Sure. Um, but people who have done the the VOWW with agents. Some people have continued a conversation afterwards and gotten signed. And and that's the other thing about this is you don't know when or and what other people may be looking for. Sometimes they're like, I just want new talent. And Mm -hmm. this is a way 
to to get heard and just developing i've i've been able to develop some some lovely relationships oh good with some of the the guests yeah. of just because we do so much back and forth but set a, of course, that's so good for you networking wise, but set some expectations, Rebecca, if you're a newbie or a pro, can you expect um, someone to get signed in the group? Is that a normal thing or is that a rarity? It's a rarity. It's, it's don't, don't expect it. Don't do it because you expect it. Do it for your self and your, your education and, mm -hmm. you know, learning how to get better. And it's, I think there's a little diamonds in the rough when those happen. They happen, yeah, right. but don't go into it being like, I'm going to impress them. And now they're going to hire me for the next job. It right. may happen, but then you'll be disappointed if you go in that way, I think. Right. Yeah. And I was thinking about how you they ask you to slate um, most times, I think, in a certain way, or they ask you to present it in a certain way. So if you draw outside the line, color outside the lines and, hey, ho, oh, I'm so-and-so, just try to engage you will get like a zero because you have to just follow the directions and not color outside the lines in terms of um, the protocol. Of course, creatively uh -huh. within the, the script, you you color outside the lines, but not in terms of the exactitude of how they want it um, presented to them, right? That's a big part of it. They're seeing mm -hmm. sometimes every director gives us very specific things. When we, we send them a link, when they, you know, before, several weeks before we send them a google doc of here are the things we need from you the bio the this do you want people to slate how many takes do you want we ask for specifics and every person wants something different and if you're not paying attention mm -hmm. like, they notice that we used to have a category of like did you follow the, <laughs> did you mm -hmm. follow the directions we, we took that out recently but oh well, okay. it's all about like learning yes. like they want to know what it's like to work with you. And if mm -hmm. you're not following directions and you're, or you're, you know, doing your own thing, they're not going to want to work with you. Yeah. I've so, heard stories like that a lot. Really? Yeah. That's not, that's a, a lot, like a lot. Hear yeah. that people. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that people. <laughs> yeah. Follow the, exact, follow the and directions. Also, I think with follow directions is it's okay to paint outside the lines. It's okay to take a risk and try something different. And sometimes they'll say one take. In your performance. And sometimes they'll say two. Yes, in your performance. Um, and when they say two, have fun with mm -hmm. the second take. Like they're listening for that too. They're listening sometimes for your range. They're listening to see, can you bring your own flavor to it? And there was somebody recently who literally said, do your first take as if it's your actual audition what you would submit do your second take go wild have fun do whatever you want with it mm. um and some fun. directors encourage that some are like mm -mm. just give me what we're asking for in terms of the specs mm -hmm. great yeah. great great mm -hmm. advice and goes along with our mantra rebecca fuck it let's be awesome now we got, we shit, got to do. shit to do boom boom <laughs> this episode of speechless is brought to you by <laughs> Speechless.